How's it going everybody? I'm Levi with JLG Reptiles and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own CO2 chamber for rat euthanasia. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and if you're already subscribed then welcome back. Alright so for this build what you're going to need is this here and this is called a remote line. It's, it's made for paintball. Um, this is the end that will actually screw into the paintball gun. Because what I've done is just taken this off the big piece. Um, so we're only connecting this to our tub. And whenever you go to take that big piece off, guys, be ready to, to really wrestle with this thing. Um, you, you better have like a... Uh, can't remember what it's called, where the two metal pieces come in and squeeze, um, squeeze the, the bigger in there, and then get you a wrench and put on this side to get it off. But the good thing about this is right here, this pulls back, and that just comes loose. So this can actually stay in the tub at all times, and whenever I'm ready to use it, I'll just hook this to the tub itself. But, and then this end here, this connects to your actual CO2 tank and it has a nozzle on it to increase and decrease the pressure of CO2. Then you're going to need your actual CO2 tank. Um, this one's made by Tipman, so it's a, a really good brand. I actually used to play paintball and Tipman was always the top of the line stuff as far as just being, being really tough. Um, wasn't the most expensive, but definitely the most most tough stuff you could buy. Um, you're gonna need a drill and some drill bits. I just went ahead and bought me a a whole kit because the hole we're gonna end up drilling is gonna have to be this big. So I'm actually gonna try to start off kind of small and work my way up to not really do damage to the tub. Um, but yeah, this is our goal. It's a half inch. So we're going to kind of work our way up to that. And I bought this tubing, but the more I actually thought about it, I don't think I'm going to need this tubing. Um, with, with most of the videos I've seen, they're tote. And this is a hefty brand tote. I got this from Lowe's. You know, it's got the, the locking sides, but... It's not waterproof or airtight or anything like that. Um, so the hose is actually for my, my line going out to where this thing doesn't just build up pressure and blow the top off whenever I crack open a CO2 bottle in it. Um, so with this though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it and see how it goes once we get this done and see if we actually need to add the other line because I think the way this tub is built you can see the edges overlap um, I think this is actually going to allow air to escape out but not really let air back in so we might not even use need to use that hose um, like I said we're just going to kind of see how it goes as far as that goes but if if it holds any kind of pressure at all, I'm going to go ahead and add that hose to it to let the air out. But I'm thinking the air will escape through the crack all the way around this thing. And then it just won't really let air back in. Um, so that's that. Then you're going to need your nut. And it's what that's going to do is actually fit. Let me get this off. Onto this piece. So if you can picture it like this, okay, you got your nut there, this piece here, your tub is going to be directly in between these. Okay, so this is going to be outside your tub, the nut's going to be inside the tub. Okay, and then this is where the half inch hole comes in. This is why it needs to be a half inch. We're going to be using this. Okay, this is actually going to go in between these two. So I'm going to drill my hole, put this 
in my hole and you can see it's got that little groove in it that at the bottom of that groove that's your half inch so it's actually going to be coming up on the edges of each side but whenever that's in this will go in there like so so you got your threads coming out then you'll screw your nut on the other side okay and that's going to make a an airtight seal just like that but so hopefully everything will go nice um we're just going to go ahead guys and start drilling our our holes here maybe everything will go according to plan for us um and as far as the drill bit we're going to start with i guess i'm not really sure how small we need to start um maybe like three sixteenths just to get a a decent little pilot hole it's something kind of like that um there's definitely smaller ones in there but i feel like that'd be a, a good start i mean it's not like we're drilling glass or anything like that i don't think it's just gonna completely fly apart on us And I guess our hole would be nice like right here or so. Um, that's where we'll go with it anyway. We'll see how this, how this works out. So I'm gonna try to get this stuff out of the way. Oh yeah. Actually going really well. Okay. Well, we are we are through for our first little drill. Let's see here. That went pretty good. Um, we'll step it up a little bit here. So let's see here. Three sixteenths. So now we're just going to go. We'll go on up to a quarter, quarter inch. Now. Okay. So we're just going to go right back into our same spot there. Quarter inch may have been a little too big. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to, now we'll start taking it easy because I think we did actually step it up a little too far there, but we still got a long way to go before we're actually. Okay, so from the quarter inch, we're going 15 sixteenths. up when we're done a bit. Now really now that I'm looking at it I don't know if this half inch bit is even going to fit in this drill. Um, I've got another drill over there. We'll see here. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is the, the half inch bit and you can see compared to my finger just how big this actually is. Um, actually going really smooth. We're just going to take our time with it. Just kind of let the, let the bit do the work here. You don't have a lot of pressure on it. I'm just letting it take really small chunks.
Okay. There's our half inch hole. Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so I don't know. It may have honestly been better just to have went ahead and went for the half inch to begin with. Um, I don't really do a lot of drilling in the plastics. I don't really know the the best way to go about it. I just figured that would have been it, but kind of seemed like it made things more complicated doing it that way. Okay, so go ahead and get this top off. Let's see here. And this right here should just squeeze right in. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze this guy down a little bit, kind of fold him, um, try to make it fit in here. This It's going to be tight, and it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, so just like that. See, and that's, that's in there really nice and snug. Um, and that'll be where our hose hooks to. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's kind of cool seeing all this come together finally. I've been, I bet I've, I've made 10 trips to Lowe's getting everything to, to make this. I'll go, I'll get stuff, then I'll get home and realize I forgot something, have to go back. It has been, been pretty major. And then whenever you go into Lowe's, you can't just go in for five minutes because it seems like they actually have really good customer support whenever you go in. Like it, people will find you and help you and then you're in there for like 45 minutes getting helped find one nut. I mean, it's good and bad at the same time. Um, if you just want a quick little trip, but then, like I said, somebody wants to help you, but I mean, it's good. It is good. I'm not gonna sit here and talk bad about getting good customer service at Lowe's. But, <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna try to push this in there as good as I can. And the way the guy really told me at Lowe's was whenever this tightens down, whenever you actually get this tightened down, you can see on the inside of my nut is there. So that's how it's gonna be. Um, whenever this tightens down on this uh, black deal here, I can't even really think of what they're called, but whenever it cinches down on it, it'll actually expand that, you know, make it wider, and it'll actually fill that hole even better. So, pretty cool little deal. Okay, so then, now that's that that's in there, we can just kind of take this, get right to the tub. So that's, that's pretty cool. That's actually working out pretty well. Um, and I've just got that finger tight right now. So I guess next we'll just put some CO2 in this and make sure it works. I don't, we'll see if, I guess we'll just see if this top actually like flexes or anything. I don't, really know how to truly test this. I mean, you guys might actually see the top of this container fly off in my face, who knows? But we're gonna find out, that's for sure. Um, I guess I better put this on the tank first. Now, so this is definitely my first experience with, with this. Like I said, I used to play paintball, but as far as doing something like this with CO2, this is all new to me, so wish me luck. Um, that in there. This really actually makes me miss paintball. I used to enjoy that so much. And it keeps you in shape too because you're just constantly running, you know? You're, you're just running through the woods. But I grew up. Okay, so that worked well. Um, so there's that. And this will just kind of hook here, like you said. So that's hooked up. Um, we'll just kind of crack this open.
maybe. Okay, I feel like it's starting to get a little pressure on it now. There it is. I'm going to see if I can actually feel air. Okay. Well, I didn't feel any air coming out of the sides, but I also didn't feel any rising of the lid or anything like that so that's that's good it means it's not actually you know building any pressure up on the inside of this um i guess it's safe to open this i don't so i'm saying i've played paintball guys but i've never actually dealt with co2 like this like the only co2 i've dealt with is just seeing a little cloud of dust come out the end of a paintball barrel never actually had a container with co2 in it like this maybe i'll just fan it away from me or something. Well, that seems like it's going to work well, guys. Um, I said I did have this, and if you get an airtight container, you're going to need this for sure um, to where you don't blow the top off of one of these because I imagine you will if you, if you don't use that. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this help somebody out there. If you have any questions, definitely let me know down in the comments. And also, if you know a better way or just how to drill into plastic, let me know. Um, I may have done it the only way possible, but I kind of doubt it. It didn't really go as, as smooth as I'd imagined. Um, and let me know about your setup. You know, I mean, what do you use as far as the container and stuff? Because, you know, with this one, it not having the exit exit hole over here you know I've never really seen many like this most people actually have a, another deal with the, the hose coming out but I mean I feel like this will work um, let me know if you know if you know more about it than I do I'm, I'm sure you you might um, since this is the first time I've ever really dealt with anything like this but guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe and I'll see you next time